KXAN Austin News at 5. Good afternoon. I'm Robert Hadlock. Leslie Rohde has the day off. Our top story here at 5 o'clock. A Central Texas man spent 18 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. He's now rebuilding his life. Back in 1992, a family of six was killed inside their home. A fire was set to cover up the crime. Robert Earl Carter, the father of one of the children killed, was convicted and given the death penalty. He named Anthony Graves as his accomplice, who in turn was also sentenced to death. But just before Carter was executed, he admitted Graves had nothing to do with the crime. An appeals court overturned Graves' conviction in 2006, and he's been free now for two months. KXAN's Jacqueline Glace joins us live here in the studio with more. And Jackie, how was Graves' first holiday spent at home? Robert Anthony it said he didn't know what it means to celebrate. And so even though he reconnected with family and friends, all he could think about was other innocent men and women on death row. For 45-year-old Anthony Graves, living in his sister's tiny Pflugerville living room is an upgrade. He spent the last 18 years on death row for six murders he didn't commit. A cold cement cell, his home. I've been trying to rent some place to call home, and no one would rent to me. Having been locked up since the age of 26, Graves admits transitioning to life on the outside over the past two months has been slow, even though he now has options. I find myself sometimes still using the prison uh, lingo when it's time to eat, you know, and instead of saying a, a plate, I still call it a tray. Lingo that conjures up bad memories. For 18 years, I had to bring in me a tray through a slot like a dog. This Christmas, he received a laptop computer and an iPhone. Great gifts he calls weird, fascinating, and confusing. Both were invented while he sat behind bars. I see someone emailing each other, a text messaging each other, right? And I'm thinking, why you just can't pick up the phone and call him? Until he finds a permanent place to stay, he'll continue bouncing from relative's house to relative's house. All of his possessions are in this suitcase. The only difference between me and a person on the street is I can go to a family member right now, but I'm living out of my suitcase. Despite his plight, he has big plans for the new year, and negativity has no place. How is it that you're not bitter? When you fight the fight for so many years, you realize that being bitter doesn't help you. Anthony will return to school, and he says he wants to share his story and free other innocent men and women on death row. Anthony's looking for ghostwriters to help him pen an autobiography. He says he's in talks with a few, but before any pen hits paper, he'll appear on a few national shows, including the BBC in Europe. And if you want to hear his entire interview, you can visit our website, kxan.com. Robert? Jackie, thanks for that exclusive report.